All right, so drills we did today, we were working mostly on sensitivity. And so sensitivity and, and kind of shoulder motion and, and centering along. So we started with this overhand contact, rolling, I send through, he makes contact and rolls. Okay. Working today to be soft. The goal of today was to learn sensitivity and smooth motion so that you can develop speed. Power will come from speed and then any additional power you add at the end of that chain to increase impact. Okay, so we work this for a while. There are two positions to look at here. There's one where as I'm moving, as this rotation happens, I, I actually take the elbow from being high to being low so I can cut into the body and I've got this control point here as I hit or whatever. The second one, I keep the elbow high so as this comes down, it's here. This gives me more of these places for these hits in here. So both positions of the elbow are valid. Both of them are worth training. It just depends on what your goal is in the next motion and maybe what they give you, okay? So again, just here, a nice and cyclical drill, okay? And you can practice it both ways. You can practice above the elbow and below the elbow, okay? From there, we worked simple hubud or Sinawali sensitivity where he just is gonna extend his arms out, okay? And my motion, we'll kind of angle this way. My motion is to make contact. Now, imagining, just for the sake of having something to imagine, consider this punch, I need to make sure my head doesn't stay here. So I move off the line, but only enough. I'm not coming out here like this. It's just enough, cross body. If he opens his hand, and here, push. If I'm here, if he pushes on this, this is a hard thing. If I can bring it into my body, I can do this, but I'm not doing anything with the arm. Now, but if I'm here crossing, I've got a lot of strength through this. So that's the first reason. The second reason is the time it takes to make this arc versus the straight line from this hand. So it begins this way. And you see this in other arts too, because things like karate, when you first learn, you get this, Uchiuke position, it always has this arm moving. Well, it's just this. So I make contact, ideally not with the hand further up the arm. The hand takes more to move offline than further up the arm. Okay. Replace contact above the elbow. Okay, and we've got options here at this point, you could strike or whatever. So what I'm looking at is just a simple flow drill. Remember, smooth and sensitive. So one, two, three, I switch. Moving this to the other side, two, three. I change, I move, I change, I move, I change, and I move. So we just did this for a while, switch sides. He gets to do it for a while, switch sides, okay? Then briefly, because we had a lot of people, we just stood in a line and we just worked down the line. And as soon as I would finish with him, he'd come around and, uh, and we would just go all the way down. So you got to work this motion all the way down a line, which was a great way to work that if you've got a lot of people. Uh, actually worked it kind of in a bit of a circle too, so it kind of just continued looping around. Then we put the two drills together. So he comes through with the high hit, okay? And I roll through noting this moment where this window's open. If that second hit were to come, right? One, two, three. Okay, I hit him, he rolls through. I hit him again, he cuts through. Okay, he hits. Okay, roll, he hits, and cut through. So I'm getting an opportunity to work two different positions, right? The first being maybe this cut or maybe this here. The second being on this hit, this position here or into here. So again, from the top, we go here, one, he punches here, okay, I hit, I punch. Now looking at the feet, the motion is I turn. So as this hit comes in, I roll through to the side where he is facing off to nothing and I have all of him, 
right? He's on my center. I've moved towards what I know and away from the things that I don't know. Okay, as that comes in, I switch, and now I'm again on his outside, and he's facing this way, right? So it's just ways to move, not really practicing striking today. Obviously, there's many areas where striking could occur at any moment. You know, we like to think of this as just insert technique here. These are just entries and positions, but mostly just working, how do we be soft, and how do we make this fast? So that if this does come in here, I've got this motion. If he punches, these hands become fast because they need to be. If I'm in here and he hits this high, I've got these positions too, right? If I'm inside, I come in. But if, I, if this elbow ends up outside, so throw that punch here, okay? Here, well, the same drill continues, okay? And here's locking positions, striking positions, all of that. So those are the drills we did today. All right, thanks, sir. Thanks so much.